fascinating sound forever. We would hook people up to a galvanic skin response, which would measure very minute changes in sweat, which is a measure of excitement, basically. Uh -huh. And we measure their heart rate, uh -huh. and uh, sometimes their brain rate. The universe has a tendency to sync up with itself. Uh, fireflies in Indonesia start off all flashing randomly, but by the end of the evening, they're <laughs> pulsating all at the same time. In the world of music and sound, we have a tendency to sync up with our environments. So uh, I'd like to ask sound, you know, which particular frequencies have um, relaxing uh, effects on the pretty serious studies that show that having kids listen to music early on enhances their ability to learn because mm -hmm. it's, it's very it's mathematical really if you break it down. I read recently that mm -hmm. there was a cruise ship off the coast of Africa that was attacked by pirates and they successfully uh, fended off the pirates with some sound weapon. Hmm. And I read a little further into it. And apparently, this would be good to kick out of this. They designed the sound weapon off of the frequencies of a screaming baby. Yeah. It sounded like an alien baby yep. <laughs> with fangs. So it seems that they're just infinite sounds. I think that's one of the weirdest things. A wind amp. Mm -hmm. What it did is it amplified uh, the wind in a weird way. So, you know, the wind itself doesn't make noise, but wind going through specific objects and create friction or resonance makes sound. a frequency called the Schumann resonance, which is the resonant frequency, kind of the dominant resonant frequency of the earth. So then I took that frequency and I took golden mean ratios of that, you know, golden mean being the, the math behind trees and, and nature, right? Um, fractal math. And it turns out that if you go golden mean ratio above uh, the Schumann resonance, you're at one of the cusp brainwave frequencies. And he finds, he's like, oh, did you make this thing? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh man, I came out here last night and it was like a religious experience. I sat here for hours. And I'm like, really? I could show it to you, it's in the garage. So the idea was that this thing just, uh, Face the wind, it had a, a wing off the back, like a, like a wind vane kind of thing, mm -hmm. so it kept it facing the wind. And then these and they vibrate, they actually vibrate pretty violently depending on how, uh, how much wind there was. Uh -huh. And then uh, these pickups would uh, pick up the sound, and I had a. Actually, right here, you could plug in a, one of these guitar cords and it went down mm -hmm. in one of these battery powered amps. It would just resonate. It's, nice. it's pretty cool.